everybody. Beth here from Corner Peace Studio. I just wanted to come in this afternoon to uh, do some opening of some packages I got from um, Amazon yesterday. Um, if this is your first time here, welcome. Glad you found my channel. And if you're returning, welcome back. I'm thrilled that you came back to see what else is going on here. I got some fun things to um, to uh, use, and I just wanted to share with you what I got. I unzipped them, so let's see. Make it a little easier. Let's see what's in this one. Two things in here. First thing is a card punch. This is pretty neat. It, um, what it will do is it is great for when you're making tags. Great for when you're making tags. You, um, put it in and you chomp it. And see, it makes a nice, a nice, elongated hole instead of the round ones from a regular hole punch and ribbons lie real nice in there when you um put them in do i have a piece somewhere hang on no i don't i don't have a piece of ribbon anywhere Let's, oh yeah i do have a piece of fabric here so when you go to put your ribbon in you put it in through there and ends through the hole and it just lays real nice just like that real nice it stays very nicely I like that like it like it like it that's the first thing in there the next thing I got was this metal die cuts let me turn this over so it's not glaring on the way metal die cuts Silver. Let's see about opening this. I got the uh, little die cut machine from my uh, son for Christmas, and I wanted to make little doily die cuts. So that's what these are. It's a set of four, and you put it in your die cut machine. I'm looking forward to trying them. There they are. It's a set of four. They are, let's see. They are just under two inches wide. So they work really nicely in a die cut machine. I have to do a video with that. So I want to use them. I'm going to be making uh, master boards. And I want to do some die cuts out of some old book page and stuff. That'll be cool. So we got this card punch, which is awesome i love it it's from i'm like card punch it's all on amazon and then i got the die cuts nice there's one okay here and the other one let's see what we got in here oh cool oops oh, piece oops my thing fell from the die cuts the first thing is vintage stamp style. There's some vintage stamps. Let's see what they look like. Let me open up here to find an open spot. Now I might end up having to make my own. Where is it? Here it is. Here it is. We've got things so stuck together here. I can't get it open. All right, I'm going to have to make my own here. Oh, there's two. Here it is. Got it, got it, got it. Takes a minute. Sorry about that. Takes a minute. It looks like there's two sets of stuff in here. Let's see. Like I said, it didn't open this yet. So, the opening can be the crazy part sometimes. Okay, here we go. Don't need that. Don't need that. I'm sorry for the crunchy paper noise. Ooh, okay. There are three different packets in here. Let's see. The first one has all different kinds of flowers. 
stamps, postage stamps from all around the world. The second one has mushrooms and butterflies. And the third one is birds and animals. So that's pretty cool. I'm not sure how many are in each set. 46 pieces right there. So it's 46 pieces in that one. 46 pieces in this one. And 46 pieces in that one. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's neat. I'm looking forward to using them. Okay, what else did I get? I got um, heart-shaped doilies. Let's see. Let me cut this open. Heart-shaped doilies. These measure four inches wide by just under four inches tall. Let's see what colors we have. We have a pink. We have a red. We have a white. And a green. Very nice. There are 100 pieces in here. So the four colors, there's 25 of each color. Well, those would be nice on master boards. I'm going to do a, a Valentine master board and cut it up for ATCs and postcards. Very nice. Very nice. Excellent. That's that. Okay, the next piece is an Enters, enters a scrapbook supply. Let's see what's in it. 531 pieces. Wow. That's a lot. That is a lot. Let me move this out of the way. We'll bring that in in just a minute. Let's bring this up. Okay. Some of these plastic bags can be saved for creating pockets and things in your journals or saving your stuff in them too. Okay, here's the flyer. And here is the folder that it came in. I like this little thank you sticker. I'm going to try and remove it so I can use it at another time. Put it in a journal or something. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Oh, there's more. There's another sticker. Let me get that off very carefully. I don't want to rip the plastic. Everything will go flying. There we go. Okay, there's that. That can just sit here. All right, let's see. This packet looks like it has papers. This is the paper packet. Yes, it is. Okay. This is the paper packet. Oh my goodness, there's not enough plastic here. Okay, this is papers. These pages are six and three quarters by five and a quarter. All different sorts of papers in here. I see some plain papers on the front, and it looks like some papers with a print on it in here, too. I love these big packages. They just last for quite a while. And they're pretty inexpensive. I think it was like 12 or 13 for this. Okay, let's see. All right, yep, ones with writing and pictures of animals and colors and dictionary pages, paintings, other dictionary book pages, music paper, other paper, more music paper. Oh, pretty cool. A nice variety of stuff in there. Okay, now this is smaller pieces of paper. Let's see. So smaller pieces. Let's see. These measure. Ooh, Little Women, one of my favorite books. Um, four and three quarters by three. So there's pictures of plants, some more book pages, newspaper plants. Oh, cool. The sun, the sun and the moon, a uh, playing card, more, more uh, plants, animals, 
All right, pretty cool. Very nice, and that's a book page that looks like a book cover. And here's another one, Nature's Pageant by Margaret Cameron, The Story of the Seasons. It's another book cover, and it has more of the, oh, pretty fish. And it has more of those illustrations and insects and plants and other um, advertisements. Up, oh, he's from Alice in Wonderland, the rabbit. So that's in there. Awesome. Let's see what else do we have here. This big one on the bottom looks like it is some sheets of stickers. I'm trying to fold that inside. Oh, cool. Here's some picture frames. Because what you could do is like take this rabbit and stick him, not in that one, but stick him in a picture frame like that on your page. And he's all set. Your page is done. That's a pretty cool idea. There's some picture frames. There's words. And there's stickers. And there's letter stickers. There's other sorts of stickers. Animals and all different kinds of items in here. Cool. Your imagination can run wild with itself. Okay, what's this? This is another one. Like I said, there's 531 pieces in this thing. So there is a lot and a lot that you can do with it. Sorry for the sound of the paper, but the plastic. As you can tell, I haven't opened any of it yet. So I was waiting to open it with you all. Okay, let's see. This one looks like stickers. All different kinds of cool stickers. There's Alice in Wonderland clock. I wonder how many Alice in Wonderland pieces are in here. Hmm, that would be interesting. Here are some smaller pieces of paper ephemera measuring two by three. I'm not going to take all them out right now. Here are some look like um, vellum strips. Let's see. Yes, they're vellum strips, strips of vellum. Come on out. Oh yeah, there's strips of vellum. They look like a, they're a sticker. They might be a sticker. Yes, they are. They're, they are a sticker. You peel it up and you put it on. Very nice. This first one will go beautifully in a new journal I made. I'll have to do a flip through of that later. Um, those are stickers. And these are tickets. They look like vellum tickets, sticker tickets. So there's a lot of stuff in this box. So I'm not going to get it back in the way it came out, but that's all right. Uh-oh, I'm losing my papers. Throwing them around. There we go. I lost one. I lost the cover of it. I have to find it. Okay. So that is that. That's I'll try and link all these below. It's a scrapbook supply. There's a whole bunch of other ones, other scrapbook supplies too. That one, oh, there it is. That one just looked really interesting to me. I liked it. I'm going to put this in here. And close this. There we go. And I have one more thing. Okay, here we are. I love watercolor, and I love to do watercolor flowers. Looking to broaden my horizon on how I paint my flowers. This is DIY Watercolor Flowers, a beginner guide to flower painting for journal pages, handmade stationery, and more. I love to watercolor on book pages, so I'm really looking forward to doing this on book pages. Learn to paint beautiful flowers in simple steps with these easy approach to watercolor for beginners. I'm not quite, quite a beginner, but um, I'm not very, um, I'm kind of like intermediate. Look at that. That would be beautiful to do. And it teaches you peony pattern. Um, colorful bouquet. Look at that. Very nicely done. It was done and then cut up to be used for cards and stuff. 
very nice and they teach how to do violets foliage a foliage frame see that's the that's the frame that they use on the back of the book and then you put your own words within it whether it be a poem or a little story or or you could do even a smaller painting in it and here's a strip of flowers you put, do it in a runner style like that so those are carnation freeze let's see a flower ball well that's pretty cool there's a lot of different stuff in there look at that that's gorgeous absolutely beautiful so i'm looking forward to doing this uh oops this is a a detail and texture nice I'm looking forward to um this is foliage using this poppies i like poppies i want to try and do them uh, anemones dahlias carnations peonies i've got roses down pretty well roses i do them pretty well i want to broaden my horizon on what i do so yeah so i'm looking forward to learning how to blend all these different colors they have some painting exercises that you can do so getting to know your paints and how they mix so so there we go that's what i have i got uh watercolor flowers i got the scrapbooking set I got my um, heart-shaped doilies, my stamps, posted stamps, my uh, die-cut press for doilies, and my card punch. I can really go to town here. I'll have to come in and use some of this stuff and show you what I'm doing, and um, also show you some things I've created from it with it. So if you like what you saw please like and subscribe my watermark down below and uh, for future videos of what i'm creating with this stuff and also to see other things that i'm working on i have a daphne's diary journal that i created i'm going to do a flip through on that later um and um a couple other things that i'm working on my uh, scavenger hunt book it's almost done i'll do a flip through of that when it's done so i've got a couple things on the horizon here so for now, have a great afternoon. Thank you for being here, and I will talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.